Hello, good morning. It's not really a good morning. It's a terrible morning because there's a pandemic going on. And right now as we all sleep or wake or go about our routine, um, people are dying. Children, seniors, middle-aged people. It's just happening right now, and it's growing exponentially. So, the flu has uh, like a 0.01% death rate, I believe. I might be a little off on that. And this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, like all the others, derived from animal abuse and murder. Well, it has a 1% um, death rate. And... That makes it phenomenally enormous. And, um, it doesn't matter what the de death rate is in the sense of how we respond and react. The point is, we need to be proactive and we need to stop this. What's hitting me the hardest is that um, the amount of death and how families don't get to really say goodbye. No service. And this started back when I was watching the footage in China about four weeks ago. Um, people going into apartment complexes and getting the bodies and putting them in the hazmat coffins and uh, the sound of the townspeople and neighbors mourning calling out so that's something I'll never forget and then as it spreads from country to country I feel more and more helpless There's no supplies to purchase and send to them. You know, I can't, I can't do a lot, so I need to brainstorm what I can do. I've got fabric here at home, leftover fabric and elastic to make homemade masks to maybe share. Not to maybe share, but yes, to share, you know. Um... It's more than just like being worried about my own family. Even though I am really worried. I'm worried about everyone. And I know that the message is, you know, don't stress keep composure, you know, do what you can. But that literally only goes so far when the reality is right in front of your face, you know? It only goes so far where you can take a deep breath and move on and So uh, I just want to share this video, even though I'm pretty, uh, pretty teary-eyed and emotional. You know, whatever. I I'm not. I can't hold it back. <sighs> Most of my family is out in California right now. I'm really, uh, hoping that. They're okay. And I'm hoping that everybody's okay. And I feel bad for hoping that my family's okay. Because I want everybody to be okay. You know what makes my family so much more special than anybody else's family. Every other person who has died from this virus or been infected with this virus. They have families that are all are feeling the very same emotions. 
only different because we know those people face to face. But the emotion, the sadness, and the sorrow, and the love is all the same. I really want the United States to take this seriously, and I want us as individuals to lock down. And when we need genuinely, honestly, 100% need resources, then we go to get our resources. And to the best of your ability, protect yourself and others by making a mask, wearing a mask, wearing eyewear, protective eyewear if you have it, wearing gloves if you have them. If you don't, you need to be washing your hands. You need to be opening doors with uh, tissue and trashing it when you're done. I went into the grocery store a few days ago. I had to grab some fresh fruit and some protein, big box of protein bars for Jay. So that we don't have to go back to the store for those. And a young couple were shopping around and talking. And then an older woman in her 50s or so, maybe maybe 60s, sees them and recognizes them. And comes over and starts chit-chatting. And they, they stood right in front of the um, avocado stand there in the grocery store. And they got about two feet away from each other. And they just conversated there. And I stared for a second and checked it out and had my little thoughts. Interesting, a woman, you know, in her 50s is stopping a couple in their, you know, young 20s to chit chat during a pandemic. That's a real good example. I wanted to say something, but I was so angry. I knew I was going to be rude. And so I didn't say anything. But I'm going to correct that. I'm going to be responsible, and I'm if I see things like that, I'm going to say something from here on out in a respectful way. They don't have to like it, but I don't have to get nasty and call names. I'm terrible about that. Sometimes I do that. I get so mad, I'll resort to calling names, you know, or belittling. It's a terrible uh, habit to have. But anywho, um, I went on ahead and finished my shopping I went I went around the store around the outskirts of the store and grabbed the things I needed I tried to keep away from everyone I possibly could I had him all my stuff on and um, when I was leaving after doing self-checkout they were there talking right over the avocados just still talking so they stood there for about oh I don't know how long was I in there? 15 minutes, maybe? 20 minutes? It took me longer because when I wanted to get something, if there are people standing there, I stand back 8 feet and I wait. It's like, what the hell's going on, you know? What are we thinking? And it's just... Hats off to the people fighting. I mean, seriously, the, the I mean, literally, I'm going to say it. The only legitimate people doing the right thing right now are um, the vegans that are on lockdown. That's it. If you're not reducing your carbon footprint, if you're not vegan, if you're not being proactive and safe with this pandemic, then you're just literally a waste of life at this point in time. It sounds real mean, you know, sounds shitty, who am I to judge, but you know what, I'm going to do it, I'm going to judge, I'm not perfect, I wasn't born vegan, but you know, for fuck's sake, I learned what I needed to learn, and I got it through my thick fucking head, my thick head, if this thick fucking head can get it, why can't you? The fuck, you know? <sighs> So I just learned more and more, you know, like even as a vegan, I did not realize that MERS came from animal uh, uh, exploitation. I didn't know. I just learned, um, not just now, but um, I always knew mad cow disease came from the animal, but I didn't understand why. I just learned why. Swine flu, bird flu, all of it. Animal exploitation. 
I'm just so fucking pissed off. I think that if we had not been killing animals needlessly and maliciously, if we weren't flying in fucking jet planes and, you know, airplanes and private planes and, you know, polluting our environment, if we weren't dumping fucking sludge into our rivers, oceans, streams, and lakes, we would be in a lot better of a place. You know, I mean, like, literally, people, we're in, we're in fucking climate crisis right now. We're, uh, we've done, been in a motherfucking animal holocaust, uh, for fucking centuries. Um, and now we have the fucking next pandemic. What future do my children have? What future do your children have? What the fuck good is this world if it's so fucking hot that we can't live on it? That the ocean is dead. What fucking good is this world? People still having babies. I'm just so mad. I'm just so fucking mad right now. And I'm sad. And I'm depressed. It makes me sick that people are dying. It makes me sick. Just... The amount of pain and suffering just permeating off of the globe right now. Animals, environment, people, suffering, dying. Why? Because human beings, human beings, we're killing the fucking planet. And we're taking everybody with us. The unborn children, the children now, we're taking them fucking down. Because we want to drive cars everywhere we want to burn fucking fossil fuels we want to frack our government won't give us renewable energy our government won't give us zero emissions we want to eat dead body parts we want to drive through the fucking drive through during a lockdown but thank fucking god the lockdown isn't prohibiting the drive through from being open so we can get the fucking body parts of multiple animals and their secretion smushed between a fucking bun. I don't know if I'm going to upload this. But I really want to. Because I'm fucking pissed off. Beyond anything. America, lock the fuck down. Unite and help each other. Fucking get your shit together. And government officials, you get your fucking shit together, too. You're a fucking shame. This is going to be in history with your name all over it. All you stupid fucks.